Liza Dodd was born on August 14, 1999, in Alton. She graduated high school in 2017. Liza was a hard worker, and people said she was friendly and helpful. She moved to this apartment in Alton in March of 2022. She was looking forward to the birth of a baby girl that was due the end of July. Liza hadn't settled on a name yet for the baby, so the family had just been calling the expected arrival Baby Bean. Liza and her family were looking forward to the birth, and they were in the process of planning a baby shower. On June 9th, 2022, Liza's mother couldn't reach her by phone, so she stopped by the apartment to check on her. What she found was so horrific, so traumatizing, that first responders had to receive counseling. The Alton police chief said that it was the savage act of a monster. Liza had been brutalized and beheaded. Her head was found in a dumpster. It didn't take long for law enforcement to name a suspect. On June 13th, charges were filed against Liza's sometime boyfriend, DeAndre Holloway, for the murder of Liza and Baby Bean and the theft of a Kia Optima. Obviously, the Alton Police Department had some pretty big feelings about what they believed Holloway had done to Liza, and rightfully so. The chief expressed some of his thoughts in a post on Facebook that got over 100,000 views and a slew of angry comments condemning Holloway and his alleged actions. DeAndre was arrested in Gillespie, Illinois. That's a small town about 45 minutes from Alton. He stole a bike in a tiny town of about 3,000 people. Needless to say, that attracted a little bit of attention. DeAndre appeared in the Madison County Circuit Court and was found unfit to stand trial at that time. His family asserts that he is mentally ill and he hears voices. His mother and sister had protection orders against him at the time of the murder, so it seems like they acknowledge that uh, he was a dangerous person. His stepdad, Christopher Hawks, claimed the system failed Holloway, but he says that what Holloway did was an act of evil. He wants people to remember that he was not a monster. He was just a human, like everyone else, that he just had mental health issues. His mother has passed away since he took the life of Liza and her child. DeAndre Holloway has not faced a jury yet. I imagine that he will eventually. He did some things that make me believe that he was aware of his actions. He went to his mother's house in Litchfield. He cleaned up with bleach and he cut his dreads. The Chris Hawks video on YouTube maintains that the public's narrative of the situation is not accurate, but he knows that DeAndre did commit the crime. My deepest sympathies to both families. Nothing justifies DeAndre's actions, but there won't be any justice here. I don't think the state mental hospital is a resort by any means. He's basically incarcerated. I don't know how long. I do think that he will stand trial, but I think the defense will argue that he's already been tried in the court of public opinion and he wouldn't be able to get a fair trial. These actions were absolutely heinous, but nothing is ever going to bring back Liza or her baby. But we as a society could do a lot more to prevent things like this from happening by making mental health care more accessible and destigmatizing mental health care. At the end of the day, though, he was responsible for his actions. If you feel like you're going to hurt somebody or yourself, you can always go to the emergency room because a grippy sock vacation beats a murder charge any day. If you think you might be in danger of domestic violence, your life depends on getting out of the situation. No one ever thinks it'll go that far until it does. Stay safe.